A funeral service was held today for a veteran St. Louis firefighter who passed away from COVID complications. As Rodney Hurd was laid to rest, those closest to him say he was a family man with strong faith. Fox 2's Ty Hawkins has more on what Hurd meant to the community. Dedicated his life and committed his career to serving and protecting the citizens of the city of St. Louis. God is our refuge and strength. An emotional day for many as St. Louis firefighter Rodney Hurd is laid to rest. The 56-year-old died June 15th and was a member of the St. Louis Fire Department for 22 years. At any time of day and night, no matter the nature of the call, be it difficulty breathing, an auto accident, or a report of fire in a building with children trapped, firefighter Rodney Hurd lived to help others in their time of need. Governor Mike Parson ordered flags at fire stations statewide to fly at half staff in honor of Hurd. Parsons' order also called for flags to fly at half-staff at the Firefighters Memorial and government buildings in the city of St. Louis. Heard was honored first this morning at New Spring Church in Bell Fountain Neighbors. <laughs> followed by the committal service at Memorial Park Cemetery on Lucas and Hunt Boulevard. I believe Rodney knew his purpose in life was to help. He wanted to help everyone he came in contact with. He was proud and he served his community, bringing compassion and hope. Get it, Paul! Heard was affectionately called Papa Doc by family members and loved by many. He is survived by his wife of 23 years, his six children, and 29 grandchildren. Those close to him say he was deeply religious, carrying a Bible with him to work and praying whenever he could. A former colleague called Heard a family-oriented man and a rock-solid partner. Heard will be missed, but never forgotten. Those of you that know Rodney know what I mean by character. Rodney was a good guy. If you, if you talk to anybody that wears a uniform or anybody that knew him in the, in the neighborhood, they would say Rodney was a good guy. He was kind. He was always loving. He always helped everybody. In St. Louis, Ty Hawkins, Fox 2 News.